Okay guys, I know you're not gonna believe this. As a YouTuber that barely touches grass or even had any friends, actually went outside and spent a whole day with a girl. Stop the cap. <laughs> I'm not capping. Stop the cap, right? Anyways, before the video starts, I need to clarify a few things out. First, I have her permission to make this video. At some point, I told her that I have a channel and she thought it was very cool. Well, I actually hope my mom would have said the same thing back then, but no. So I was like, hey, do you think I can make a commentary video on this? I'll say a lot of nice things about you. But what I actually meant is, yo, can I use you for content? Okay, now I hope she never finds this video. Anyways, the reason for this is because I've always had so much personal stuff and thoughts that I really want to talk or share to someone else about, but I really couldn't trust anyone online. And I also had a hard time finding someone that I'm comfortable talking with IRL. However, she's a lot different from everyone else that I've talked to. Not only did we have a lot of similar life experiences, but we also shared a lot of common topics and interests. But guys, don't worry, she won't see this video yet, or never. Because I didn't tell her about my channel name yet, so I can pretty much say whatever I want in this video. Good night girl, I'll see you tomorrow. So I normally get around 15k likes per video, so if I happen to get 30k likes on this video, I will get her here to react to this video. Oh god, please, please don't like this. Okay, to make this video flow better, I'm going to be picking a very pretty Minecraft skin to represent her. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, many of you may ask, how did I get a girl? Uh, basically, all you need is some confidence, integrity, and the new Bedless Lunar Cloak, it not only gives you 100 CPS, 0.01% of Bedless client power, it can also get you all the girls, which is how I got this girl to reach out to me. Simply because I have this cloak. Okay guys, I'm gonna be honest, I was the one that asked her out and she was probably just like, oh, what a poor guy, I, I guess I'll be nice and act like I actually care about him. Again, I made a community post on this and many people think it's a date. But I just want you guys to know, it's not a date, okay? Okay. We're just friends. Friends. Okay? Okay. I just met her about two weeks ago, and she's very pretty and cute. While I'm like, mad ugly. Well, I don't know how she feels about me, but I really like her personality and how mature she is. But again, she could be just doing this to be nice. Okay, so... Last Saturday, I asked her if she want to maybe have lunch and watch a movie together, and and yeah, that, that's all it took. What comes next is a huge part with picking up girls. Okay guys, listen up. So your boy Bedless is gonna pick her up with a drip card, you know, you know? And guess what? My vehicle is also pretty advanced, and it has a word cyber in its name. And yes, when you have the word in the name, you automatically know it is some futuristic technology. So I went to my garage. So she picked me up at around 12.30 and we had some ramen and ice cream. It's the first time where we actually sat down together and had a conversation. We talked about many personal things and opinions on different topics, which I don't really want to share about in this video. Uh, I hope you can understand because it's a little bit too personal. But what really surprised me is that we agreed or had similar thoughts on almost everything that we talked about. I was very happy and shocked at the same time because I've never spoken with someone that I could relate with to this point. Not even my best friend from high school. So at some point, I feel like she's reading my mind or something. Um, guys, I think she's hacking. She might not be a gamer herself, but I think she has a way better gaming chair than all of us. Okay, so just like Minecraft PvP, you wanna always get the first hit in a fight. And with this mindset, yeah guys, I know I, I play too much Minecraft, I I'm literally hopeless. I think it is necessary to make the first move, so I thought I need to bring up something that can impress her. And therefore, at some point I thought maybe I can bring up my high school grades and the amount of difficult classes I took, but it turns out She's only gotten two Bs in every single one of her classes in all four years of high school, and so I was defeated. At the moment, I just feel like I really agree with that one guy that said grades don't matter. After that, we went to watch one of the movies that just came out, and it's called Venom 2. Okay guys, this movie is 
actually very very poggers you should definitely watch it it's really worth it well in the past i've only been in a movie theater with girls when we were hanging out as a large group so this is also the first time that i've been in a movie theater with just one girl uh, at first i was super nervous like actually though i was nervous to death for the whole day this kind of surprises me because i've not felt nervous at all when i am live streaming in front of thousands of people but I was feeling so much pressure at getting nervous to just meet one girl because I was I guess it's maybe because I'm scared of making mistakes in front of her or if I would make her feel like I'm a boring person and then she would just ignore me for the rest of her life uh, but I'm glad that didn't happen okay after we watched the movie uh, we actually went to Best Buy this is where I kind of messed up so she didn't know much when it comes to computer parts or PC specs and all she sees was me getting so excited at those 360Hz refresh rate monitors, Rollcat gaming mice, PC graphics cards, and processors, and of course she couldn't understand a thing. But then the good thing is that she actually told me about it, so then I explained everything to her. While I was looking around, uh, I found out that she really likes keyboards that have a nice pressing sound. So she also spent like quite a while just playing with the sample keyboard that has a clicky green switch. While the keyboard sound was actually very satisfying to listen to, but um, the way how she was just playing with it was also pretty cute. So it was pretty funny. So then I thought maybe I should just buy her the keyboard. Okay guys, again, I I'm anti-simp. Okay guys, I am anti-simp. I do not simp. Believe it or not, I did not do it. I did not do it, okay? Maybe. Maybe I'll do it in the future, but maybe, okay, maybe. After that, I thought I did a terrible job when we were in Best Buy and thought that maybe she was just gonna dump me at that point. But surprisingly again, I invited her to have dinner together and she was like, sure. And yeah, we, we had dinner together and I had a lot of fun chatting with her. When we finished dinner, it's already 9 p.m. And here is what surprised me the most. So I was assuming that 9 out of 10, she was going to say no, but I still decided to ask her if she wants to come and visit my apartment and my gaming room. And she actually said yes. So for those of you who don't know, um, in Asian culture, and especially for girls from Asia, they are very cautious when it comes to protecting themselves. And that is a very good thing. So I was just so shocked because we just got to know each other more on that day and it was already pretty late and she still decided to visit my apartment. So for the most part, I just showed her around my rooms, but at the same time, I realized that if she really gave me so much trust and if she really decides to trust me this much, coming to my apartment this late, then I should also give her all my trust in return. So when we sat on the couch, I told her even more personal things about myself including things that's been troubling me for years and even stuff that I've never told my parents about. At the same time, she told me about her experiences and struggles. And the funny thing was that we didn't really realize when we finished talking, it was already the next day at 1 a.m. And, and then she drove home, of course, and then I took a shower and just slipped. Well, I haven't felt this alive in a very long time. I've been pretty much living this robotic life and I don't know, I, I just feel like everything was a little bit unreal or whatever, but um, what happened that day really made me feel alive again in a very long time. I really thought that when my best friend from high school left me to a different university, I would never find someone that can really understand or relate with me for at least uh, the next couple years. I really didn't expect that I was lucky enough to meet someone like her in just weeks after school starts. At the end of the day, I don't, I don't mind how she feels about me, but I really want to stay as her friend and be around her. I'm already very grateful for the fact that I even met her and I really couldn't ask for more. So yeah, uh, for those of you that stay till the end, I also want to thank you very much for being here, listening to what I have to say. And I also hope you can find someone like this in your life. And I know, especially in this community, some of you are quite antisocial. And I'm also like that even, even now, but I'm encouraging you to step out of your comfort zone and go meet new people. Finally, again, um, if this video gets somehow gets 30K likes, I'll get her to react to this video. Well, yeah, um, that's the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching and good luck with your life.